Alrighty, greetings everybody out there in YouTube land. Today I am here in, this is called Copley Park, outside of Allentown, up in Lehigh County. And I wanted to come here today to check out uh, some things here. Um, a trail and some things that are right behind me here, if you can see them. There were some other YouTubers here and stuff, if you see, saw um, JP with JP Videos was here, RJ58 I believe with RJ Productions or whatever was here recently and did that so I wanted to come and check the area out for myself and check these things out. There's a eh, fair amount of traffic here at the park today but I got some people cleared out here and I got the area to myself that I can actually start making this video and stuff like that so if you see somebody else in the video with me today, don't worry about it. It's just my friend Mark. He's here to be my second set of eyes and stuff like that so I can film this without having any, you know, problems and stuff like that. So um, those things that are behind me that are over my shoulder are actually called the Copley or um, Sailor Kilns and stuff. And basically what they were back in the day was um, kilns that made Portland cement. Um, there's also an abandoned railroad up here that was turned into a rail trail. It's called the Ironton Railroad. That was part of this up here. Um, basically, it started out as they uh, took the iron ore out of here and stuff from the uh, local quarries around here and the mines and stuff. And then in the 1800s, early 1900s or whatever, these cement mills here manufactured what was called Portland cement and then the railroad was used for that so i'll find out put links in the descriptions at the bottom as to where you can go and get this information from so we're going to get started here take a walk down here and check these things out all right so just standing here you can pause the video if you want to to read this but this is basically given the um the history here and the birthplace of the cement that was here that was made here and as you can see from these kilns they are pretty tall I don't know the exact feet of them but I'm sure we'll find out as we walk around here and stuff like that you can't walk inside of them they have it all fenced off but apparently this was a uh, restoration project here that they did to restore these there's supposed to be nine of them. I haven't counted them and stuff like that to see if there actually are nine here. But we'll get more information on them here as we uh, walk around the area. Totally All right. So when you come into Sailor Park here, you got the parking area up to the top here and stuff. But where I'm standing right now, and the kilns are just behind me, but this out here, I'm standing on what was the old Ironton Railroad. So this was the railroad, a actual railroad bed I'm standing on, that was turned on, turned into the the rail to trail which we'll get into this a little bit more when. Uh, a little bit later or make a separate video up on this completely all right here's some more information on it and stuff um, this is about the preservation plan and stuff like that but you can see over here in this black and white picture and stuff but the building that was uh, surrounded where the kilns are here All right, so here's some more information on them. Um, these are the only remaining continuous firing vertical cement kilns in the world. Um, this gives you the information on it. Again, you can pause the, the video and stuff like that to read this. But they were actually shortened in length by, by 40 feet. So they're not quite as tall as they they're not as tall now as what they used to be. They actually shortened them and stuff. But this is also a um, local historical site as well as a national historical site now.
That's, dude, that's impressive how that is. And one thing pointing out here, if you're looking at these kilns, you can see the one in front of me, how it's been restored and stuff like that. But if you're looking at the rest of them, you can see how the bricks are getting pushed out, especially this one over here, how it's bowed, like bowed out and stuff like that. And that could be with the weight and stuff and the ice getting in there and freezing and stuff. But there's a lot of bricks, you know, just laying here that fell out and stuff. I'll walk up here and you can see all the the bricks the bricks laying inside there all right we'll try and do a shot here over the top of the fence of some of the information that's here about the kilns again I'll include a still picture of this. But here's another shot. I'll zoom in here and you can see the... See how the deterioration is taking its toll. One thing too, pointing out here, if you look, and we'll zoom in again, but take a look at the, the layers of the brick that are there compared to um, how many outer layers of brick are there compared to the actual inner layer or the heat bricks that are actually inside the kiln itself. There's a good, good amount of layer in there. And we'll give you one final look here of these kilns. Would have been nice if I would have brought my drone with to do some aerial shots, but I'll try and include some satellite photos of it from the top. But my drone's a little big and bulky to be bringing with for something like this. Maybe at some point I'll get a uh, invest in one of the smaller ones to do this, but. That'll be down the road. And with that, it's gonna bring a close to this video. 
not that much of a long video and stuff like that like I said I'll, I'll include the still photos with it and stuff like that um, and post information down there where you can read up more on these kilns and stuff so if you liked the video give it the thumbs up hit the subscribe button down there also um, use that bell down there to be notified when uh, I upload new videos to YouTube and stuff. So hopefully it wasn't boring for you. It's a little informative. I think those things are pretty neat. This was definitely worth coming out and checking out and stuff. So again, thanks for coming along and we'll see you soon.